We're tracking a front to the north. There's the front right there, and this front will sweep across South Florida tomorrow. It's not going to bring us any rainfall, but behind it, boy, we are going to notice the difference. We're going to see our temperatures come down dramatically and the humidity, too. In fact, right now it is so muggy outside. We have a dew point of 78 degrees, so that's just very humid air. But as we head towards the next day or so, as the front comes through, notice how the dew points start to drop. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., the front is approaching Tampa. Behind it, the really dry air. As the day goes on, the front comes through, and then boom, you can see all of that drier air filtering into South Florida. So that basically means our humidity will drop dramatically. So it's going to get very comfortable later Sunday and into next week. Today, 90. We could have a pop-up storm in the Palm Beaches, but for the most part, we're going to see generally dry conditions, especially into the Treasure Coast. Now, for tomorrow, we're dry, but still warm at 88 degrees. Vipercast shows that all is quiet into the Treasure Coast this afternoon, and there's your isolated storm into Palm Beach County around 6 p.m., and then as we head towards 11 tonight, we're going to see dry conditions. If you're going boating, a little bumpy today. We'll have the seas at 2 to 4. Inland waters a light chop, and there are your high and your low tide times. Here's your first alert seven-day forecast. Notice those temperatures. By the time we get to Tuesday, daytime high of 76. That is 10 degrees below average from this time of year. And we're going to start the day off in the 50s Tuesday morning.